as you probably know, this week it has been announced the the open source uh, Mano. In its website, uh, you can access to the press release and the and to the white paper. And this week in the Mobile World Congress, uh, we had a demo that uh, available at Intel booth. And this video, the, the idea of this video is to show you uh, what we were showing there. Okay, in case you couldn't attend or in case you want to show to someone else. In this video, uh, I'm, I'll be showing uh, the same that we showed there. Okay. The first thing I, I'd like to do is to open this presentation. This is on the internet. I'll make available a, a link to it. And uh, tell you that uh, the demo we are showing is based on a open mana project on Juju and also in Rift.io. Um, this is uh, actually the, the seed code for the open source uh, Mano, and uh, it's what we are using in in this demonstration. So uh, I'm gonna go through all steps of the demonstration. That uh, I'm gonna explain what we are gonna see later. That is that uh, we are gonna have. Uh, two different beams that are open beam and open stack both of them i'm gonna be controlled by by open mana for the resource orchestration and the service orchestration is going to be performed by by yuyu rift io in the, using launchpad or the launchpad of rift io it's a, the element that will trigger the resource orchestration and the source orchestration so the first thing we we are going to do in the demo is to deploy three P's. Uh, these three P's are going to have this configuration. They are provided by six win. And once that uh, open Manu has deployed these elements uh, over open beam, uh, we are going to configure them. All right. The first configuration we are going to, we are going to add using Juju uh, or using a launchpad that is going to trigger Juju to configure this is a, a configuration for um, a domain that is gonna, uh, we are going to call the service provider. It's going to be a special one because it's the one that we are going to be using for uh, showing that all deployments in this beam are EPA, so uh, we get maximum performance. So we have this corporation, the tunnels to communicate for this corporation, the three P's are established. We get the, the IPs, we start announcing that we have in the side of the P1 this, this uh, net and this in the side of the P2 this other one. And when we have configured this piece for the service provider uh, domain, we are going to deploy also in OpenBeam a, a traffic generator. Okay, This is a traffic generator on sync. Uh, what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be sending traffic through this interface to the other one and the other way around and we are going to be measuring and displaying uh, what we get. Well, we expect to be seeing the full 20 gigabits per second uh, throughput as we are using a, a beam that is able to, to deploy EPA. EPA sorry. So once we show that the next thing we are going to do is to add an additional corporation, right? This additional corporation is going to be a normal one. I mean, it's not uh, the service provider one. We are going to have this addressing that is the same one than in the, than in the previous case. It could be different. We are using the same addressing in, in order to show that uh, there is no overlap, no problem about using the same, uh, the same uh, addresses. The channel to communicate the three P's because we are requesting to to add this corporation to to the three sites are added, and uh, one we, once we have this, we can start deploying additional elements for this corporation that are going to communicate through this uh, configuration of P's, right? So the next step is to deploy this element in in this side and this other cell element in this other side. As Corporation A has this configuration, these two elements should be able to see each other and to see also to, to this other network. And uh, basically, uh, these elements will be the equivalent to, to a C. The, the, the role of these elements is to allow us to uh, connect remotely all, all the 
all the elements that we are using in the in the demo, all the hardware, the, the beams and the compute nodes, everything is in Madrid and we are connecting from Barcelona. So these elements are the ones that are going to allow us the, the connectivity. All right, so once that is done, we are going to deploy again. In this case, uh, Rift.io is going to tell OpenMana that wants to use a different data center and we're going to be deploying it using the, the, the same behavior, uh, doing it in the same way using the launchpad and deploying and that's going to trigger the request to OpenMano and OpenMano is going to deploy. In this case, we'll be deploying over OpenStack or in OpenStack. All right, so we're going to deploy the MetaSwitch IMS. Once we have deployed the IMS, we are going to do the service orchestration. Rift.io will ask Juju to insert, uh, to change the domain name and to add some users that are the ones that we'll use later. All right. So the last step in the demo is that using a device in this side and using another device in this other side, we're going to get connectivity through the AIMS and we are going to perform a call, all right? So in, in the in the live demo, what we have is a cell phone in, in this side, we have a laptop in this other side, and we make the call. In, as I'm capturing my screen, uh, what I'm going to do is, in order to show you, is that I have my, my cell phone also connected to TeamViewer, so I'm going to be able to display it in my screen, and the laptop uh, with a zip line will be my my own laptop. So we'll be able to see everything here in, in, in this screen. And that's uh, basically what uh, I'm going to be showing next. Uh, what I'm going to do is to open this uh, virtual machine. Uh, uh, this virtual machine, uh, the, the only reason for being using this virtual machine is that it makes it easier to have everything together, right? In this machine, uh, what we have is just a browser that uh, we'll use for, for accessing to the launchpad, all right? Here we have it. And uh, we also have a, a, um, a script to plot all the all the data from the traffic generator and also a script to call to the traffic generator to start and stop it. So let's sign in to the portal. Right, so first thing we are going to add is going to be the three piece scenario. Okay, we are going to use the Mobile World Congress account and we are going to select the open bin data center because the the piece scenarios needs uh, epa so let's launch all right at this moment uh, the three piece scenario are, is being deployed in in open beam and uh, at the same time uh, the three charms that are going to control these three piece are also being created in juju this will take uh, about two minutes to to deploy the piece, to create the charm, and, and to insert the the basic configuration that is uh, basically uh, setting the management IP address. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is that uh, I'm gonna stop the the video in order to save time, and in about two minutes I'll be back. Okay, it's so about to finish configuring. It should take, it shouldn't take long. And once that we have a, an active message in here, we'll go to the. Okay, it's active now. We'll go to insert configuration. Okay, so here we have a config primitive that is a, to add a special corporation that is the test corporation. And you can select to which sites uh, you want to include it. Uh, we are going to by default add to, to all of them. So now it's uh, inserting all the configuration. This, this means that uh, we are going to add this uh, corporation to the three P's 
we are going to establish the connectivity, the tunnels that are going to connect for this domain uh, P1 with P2, P1 with P3 and P2 with P3. And we are going to also add a um, uh, VLAN. It's going to be assigned to identify this corporation to the sites uh, where we'll be later injecting traffic to check that, uh, in fact, the, the PS scenario is EPA. Okay, so uh, while we wait for the for an active or a success message, okay, no need to stop the video. So uh, we already have this uh, corporation ad. Now we are gonna deploy a test generator, a traffic generator. We're gonna select that we want to do it in OpenBIN data center, and we select the traffic generator. Okay, launch. This one should be quick. It's, there is no need to, to insert configuration into it, so it's just uh, deploying it and uh, obtaining the, the IP address. Okay, running active. Now that uh, we have the traffic generator active and we have the, the three pieces scenario configured, uh, we are going to open a visualization, a plotter in here. Okay, it's ready to receive. And now we have a script that is going to connect remotely to the traffic generator. Okay, this script basically got the IP address we have in this uh, virtual machine connected to the traffic generator and told it to start generating traffic and to start sending reports towards this machine. So I hope that in a few seconds we'll see a couple of screens here that will be showing the, the throughput in gigabits per second. Here they are gigabits per second and minute of packet per second. So as you can see, uh, it's working uh, at full line rate. We see the 20 gigabits per second uh, throughput. Uh, I'm gonna stop the traffic generator because the last part is that we are gonna make a call. And if we are making the, the full, if we are filling the links uh, with this traffic, it's gonna be difficult to, to have the call. Okay, and now let's stop the visualization. Okay. So next, we are gonna configure an additional corporation that is gonna be corporation A. Okay, corporation A with this specific data that we wanna use. Okay, pending. Uh, <clears throat> during the demo, we are setting this corporation that is going to be connected to the three P's, and we are going to make the call from P1 to P2, and P3. In the side of the P3, we'll have the the, the IMS deployed that we will be using a different beam that is going to be open stack. So it shouldn't take long to get a success in here. Okay, we've got it, and now that we have this, we can continue deploying. Okay, so now let's get the, the gateways. Also in OpenBeam, we are gonna select the appropriate uh, scenario, launch. Okay, it's starting to deploy. The, the images are being copied to the compute nodes. Uh, OpenBeam is starting the, to create the, the, these two virtual machines. And it shouldn't take long until they are up and running. 
Okay, here they are. Now we can continue deploying. Let's deploy the IMS for Corporation A. Uh, we want to select now the OpenStack data center. Okay, so let's launch it. Okay, here it is. As happened before, uh, it's it's taking two ways in parallel. We are deploying, we are doing the resource orchestration. In this case, we are using Open uh, Stack Data Center, and at the same time, we have started. Juju has started a charm that will allow to to configure the IMS. So I stopped the, the recording just to save some time. And now we have it active. We can go to, to configure it. We are going to update the domain. We want to set by default the image uh, has a domain that is example.com. So we are going to update it using ims.com. Okay, so we get a success message. And now we are going to add a couple of users that are the ones that I have configured in my cell phone and here in, in the laptop. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. A, B, B, C, C, D. D. This is just easy to re remember. 1, A, B, B, C, C, D. D. Okay, so we added these two users, still pending. And basically we have now everything deployed, so we should be able to, to, to make a call. I'm gonna make the call from my cell phone to, to the zip client I have in this laptop. And that uh, are using the account information that we provided to the IMS. Okay, so they should be registered just opening the application. So as we see, it got registered, and now I'm gonna make the call. Okay, it's ringing. All right. Oh, sorry, as you can see, the, the call is working. And uh, that's all. The demo finished here. I hope it's, it was helpful for you and you enjoyed it. And thank you. Bye.